students, today I have come up with a very interesting question. So basically this question came in IIT JE in 1986. Well, you might be thinking that ma'am has come up with an IIT JE question. Don't get scared. The 10th graders will easily be able to solve it because you have a chapter in your syllabus by the name of quadratic equations. So basically it's based on that. So let's quickly take a look at the question. If the quadratic equations x square plus ax plus b equal to 0 and x square plus bx plus a equals to 0 and a is not equal to b. See, they both have got these common variables a and b over here you can see, right? They have a common root. So these two equations, quadratic equations have a common root, then the numerical value of a plus b is. Now let's first understand the concept. What do we, when we say quadratic equation, we know that the they would have two zeros, right? Every quadratic equation, they would have two zeros. So let's suppose the first quadratic equation that I have here, x square plus ax plus b equal to zero, its zeros are alpha and beta. The other one that we have, its zeros as alpha and gamma, right? Now alpha is common between both of them. Why? Because the question itself says that they have a common root. So this is the common root, right? Alpha. Now, since this is the root of the equation, so if I substitute this, let's suppose I'm talking about the first equation. If I replace x with alpha, right? So the entire equation should be equal to zero because it is a root of the equation, right? So I have replaced x with alpha here. I get alpha square plus a alpha plus b equal to zero. Now let's mark this as the first equation. The same thing I'm going to do with the other equation also. So I can replace x with alpha over here as well because that's the root of this equation, right? So it should satisfy this. So alpha square plus b alpha plus a equal to zero. You have your two equations. Now what I'll do from here is I need the value of a and b. So for this, I'm going to solve these equations. We're already aware of the methods like we have uh, elimination, substitution method, the different, different methods that you have learned in linear equation in two variables. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract these equations, right? Let's say I'm subtracting second from first. So what will happen here? So if I subtract second from first, let me just show you. We have alpha square, right, plus a alpha plus b equal to zero, right? This is the first equation and second equation is alpha square plus b alpha plus a equal to zero. Once you subtract, all the signs change, right? Alpha square, alpha square gets cancelled out. We have a alpha minus b alpha plus b minus a equal to zero. Let's take alpha common from here. I have a minus b plus b minus a equals to zero and this is what is written here. Now what I'll do is if I keep this in bracket, right? And if I write this as, let me just write this down here, a minus b alpha or let's write here, a minus b alpha, yes, plus b, this is b minus a. If I take minus sign common from here, what will this become? If I take minus sign common, the side inside the brackets, they interchange, right? So that's going to be a minus b equal to zero. Now let's take a minus b common from here. So I'll have alpha minus one equal to zero. Make sense? I've taken this common. So now we have these two brackets, a minus b and alpha minus one. So one by one, if I equate each of them to zero, so if I say that a minus b is equal to zero, we already, we are given that a is not equal to b right? Now we are left with alpha minus 1 equal to 0. That means alpha is equals to 1. We have got the value of alpha. Now let's suppose if I put the value of alpha in equation number 1. We can put in any of the equations, right? Let's suppose if I put in equation number 1, what do I get from here? I will have a 1 square plus a times 1 plus b equal to 0. That means a plus b would be equal to minus 1. And this is what we needed here, right? We have got the value of a plus b. See, all we have done is we have used the basic concepts that we learn in grade 10th in quadratic equations. Nothing new I have done here. So do let me know in the comment section how you like this question.